Very empowering, very empowering. Healthy Places is a 10-year, $100 million commitment to 10 communities around the state of North Carolina, primarily rural communities that are experiencing poor health outcomes. Healthy Places Initiative has been able to strategically pull all the partners that have a stake in the work together and put them in a space collaboratively where we can discuss ideas and ways that we need to move forward. In 10 years of Healthy Places, it has been wonderful to see leaders of color build organizations, build power, build agencies within these under-resourced communities. Healthy Places has not coming and telling us what we need, they're asking us what we need and making sure we get funding behind it. It's like people have been silenced here for so long that they really didn't know what was possible, but that's what we're trying to do is just show them what's possible and what's out there. The funding from Healthy Places has allowed us to do a lot. Centro Unido Latinoamericano is a wonderful resource for the Hispanic community because we speak their language. We have programs for mental health, food distribution. It's all in their language. This helps the Latinos express themselves, to voice their opinions, to get the same resources, the same equitable services without that economic gap, the legal gap, or the language gap. By listening to communities, one of the things we heard about was just really how entrenched inequities were in rural communities. So what is a health initiative has really broadened to understand the many other systems and sectors that contribute to the health problems that we're seeing. It's really important for us here in Beaufort County that we are aware of the disparities that take place, giving back to our community in equitable fashion. It has been um, eye-opening for us of, we need to have some conversations, some conversations that are gonna be very difficult, whether it's making sure that there is access in a local neighborhood, that there's a park in every neighborhood. So it's not just going to be for those with access to transportation, that we have ways to bring fresh foods, access to entertainment, recreation, uh, transportation, that we are in sometimes going to those that might need it. In the future, we would think that Healthy Places are working alongside other counties in the region, other counties in the state, to see that we improve on uh, really critical strategic health goals for the state. We're working closer with uh, extension offices, our land grant universities, both in North Carolina and South Carolina. We're also looking at research opportunities that grow out particular products that's never been here before. The trust has given us the opportunity to open these doors that have been closed many years ago. These doorways need to be open because of health reasons with the region, also the minority populations that exist here in this region as well. I grew up about three miles from here and coming back to the region to make a change is really important to me. It's important to my family, my community. We're making a difference and in this difference we want to make sure that everyone has the same opportunity to have a healthy lifestyle. We have so much work to do, frankly, in North Carolina to see that health outcomes are more equitable, that our disparities are not so predictable within certain communities. Our vision for the trust is to work with communities to see that all residents are thriving and that we have equitable access to care and equitable health systems leading towards health outcomes that are improved for all.